Hello and welcome once more to another training film from Dan Lee Training. Today's subject is an essential piece of warehouse equipment, the pallet truck, or as some others may call it, a pump truck or a pallet jack. For the purposes of this film we will refer to it as a pallet truck as that provides the most accurate description of what it is and what it's used for. In this film you'll learn how to use a pallet truck safely and properly and in particular we'll examine the pre-use checks you must perform, the offering or putting it into a pallet, the raising of the pallet, how to pull, push and move the pallet truck and how to stop it. And at the end of the film we'll look at how you can use one of these pallet trucks in tight spaces at the back of a truck or a trailer. But first let's make a couple of important points. Pallet trucks are not toys. They are pieces of work equipment and must only be used to move palletized freight. It's not for moving loose boxes or drums. The other important point is that pallet trucks are designed to operate on smooth floors such as warehouses, backs of trailers and trucks. They are not designed for open ground and uneven surfaces. For that you'll need to break the pallet down and handball the freight items or use other manual handling equipment. For example, use a forklift truck. Now that we have established these points, let's examine the workplace equipment aspect. The UK's Health and Safety at Work Act 1974 places explicit duties of care on both your employer and you, the employee. The employer must provide safe working equipment for use at work and you, as the employee, have to use that work equipment safely in the manner instructed. So how does a pallet truck work? A pallet, complete with freight on top of it, can weigh anything up to 1250 kilograms. That weight and the force of gravity on top of it makes it impossible to move by manual handling actions. Inserting a pallet truck into the pallet and using a hydraulic pump to raise the pallet and the load, you'll see the weight placed onto three points of contact, the pallet truck's wheels. The fork wheels move only backwards and forwards depending on whether the pallet truck is being pushed or pulled. The wheel that steers the pallet truck is the one at the front. This is called the pivot wheel and it is attached to the long handle. You hold the handle and you can direct, push and pull the pallet truck wherever you want it to go. The pivot wheel moves easily in an arc of 180 degrees. You will be surprised as to how easy it is to move a thousand kilograms of palletized freight using this simple piece of work equipment. As with any piece of work equipment, we must inspect it before we use it to ensure that it's safe to use. Many people struggle to understand this pre-use inspection requirement as it's not something that they're used to doing. For example, when you get in your car, do you check that the lights work, your oil and water levels, your tires, and that you have sufficient fuel for your journey? You do? Well done. You are fully conversant with the UK's highway code. The vast majority of drivers in the UK don't do these pre-use checks, usually out of a matter of choice or ignorance. In a workplace, you don't have such a choice as to whether you do or do not do the pre-use inspection. It's a piece of work equipment, so you must inspect it. So what do we check? Well, we'll start with the handle. This should be attached to the pallet truck, and the movement of the handle should only be up and down and from side to side with the pivot wheel moving with the movement action to the side. There may be a small amount of side to side movement on the handle and this is known as play. A small amount of play is acceptable but not too much. Next we look at the hydraulic operating lever. This is the control that brings into play the hydraulic chamber. Holding the lever up disengages the hydraulic chamber. Pushing it down engages the hydraulic chamber and by pumping the handle up and down that hydraulic chamber will raise the pallet truck. The hydraulic chamber. This component needs to be checked to ensure that there are no visible leaks or damage to its exterior surface. If it is damaged or leaking the chances are it won't operate and raise the pallet. The wheels and the axles. In dirtier workplaces shreds of shrink wrap or plastic banding material can get caught in the axle areas. This can stop the wheels from revolving freely. If there is litter or rubbish around the axles of the pallet truck, take time to pull them out. If the handle, lever, chamber or wheels are unsafe or have defects, remove the pallet truck from use and let your supervisor know. A pallet truck will have a safe working load limit applied to it. This is known as the SWL. How do we use the pallet truck? Well, after the pre-use inspection, we'll need to put the pallet truck into the waiting pallet. This is called offering. 
Offering is the term used to describe pushing the pallet truck into the pallet. Pallets are either two-way or four-way in design, and there should be an obvious pair of holes into which you can insert the forks of the pallet truck. In a four-way pallet, you may have to push the pallet forks over the pallet's base string lengths to get them in. Position the pallet truck so that its forks are lined up with the pallet's holes. Make sure that the handle lever is in the up position. With the handle arm straight and you directly behind the shoulder of the pallet truck, keep your arm straight and drive your body forward with your legs. The pallet truck will move forward and your body weighted push will help the forks to ride over and through the wooden stringers that create a bump obstruction. Push the pallet truck so that both forks go all the way in. If you only push the forks half in, then when the pallet truck is raised, you create a stress point on the pallet that can cause the upper slats or lower stringers on the known raised end of the pallet to crack and break. This is a common reason for pallet damage in the warehouse industry. With the pallet truck properly positioned, we push the handle lever into the down position and we then pump the handle up and down until the pallet forks have been raised to a height of about five centimeters or an inch and a bit. Pulling and moving. With the pallet now raised from the floor, the pallet truck can be easily moved. To get it moving, you'll need your body weight to pull on the handle. Note the position of the arms, straight and the leaning of the body to bring in the strong muscles of your legs. On a smooth floor, your body weight is enough to start the process of movement. You won't need as much power to continue the movements, so you can change your body position from facing the palletized load to facing away and looking forward in your intended direction of travel. Your arms are now behind you and you are leaning into the pulling motion which keeps the pallet truck moving. Stopping. This requires a small bit of planning. As you approach the area where the pallet needs to be stopped in, you slow down your walking pace and you turn your body to face the load. You then lean into the load using your upper body frame and straight arms and you angle your legs to provide resistant force to bring the pallet truck to a stop. Once it's stopped, you can turn the pivot steer wheel 90 degrees to ensure that it is fully stopped. Positioning. You can raise the pallet and use straight arms and your body weight and the driving muscles of your legs, and you can pivot the pallet truck on its center wheel. With the pallet raised, you can move the pallet truck by leaning your body weight onto the upright handle and using small steps, push the pallet truck around its pivoting wheel. Short pushes and pulls can position the pallet into tight spaces, into racking bays, or alongside other palletized freight in a load line. It takes a bit of practice, but by the end of your first shift, you should be pivoting the pallet truck with ease and placing the pallet into its required area with less turns, pulls, and pushes than when you first started. The rules for using a pallet truck on an incline, such as a dock leveler in a loading bay, are... Going down the incline, keep yourself above the load. If you cannot hold the weight of the pallet and the pallet truck and you have to let go, then the load goes down the ramp's incline and does not hit you. If you're going up an incline, again, stay above the load. Try and use a forward line approach and keep the momentum going to get you over the lip of the dock leveler and up the small angle of incline. If the angle of incline is too steep, request the pallet to be moved by a motorized pallet truck or forklift truck. When you have finished using the pallet truck, always return it to the designated storage area for someone else to use. So that's all there is to using a pallet truck. Nope, hang on. Didn't we say we'd show you how to use a pallet truck on the back of a truck's loading or trailer area? Well, the same principle of operating moving in pallet trucks still apply. Admittedly, this is harder work as the operator has to use his or her body weight and body dynamics to pull on the handle and drive with the legs to get the load moving from the lip of the trailer. And at the same time, they have to apply direction so that the pallet truck pivots on its pivot wheel. Repeating these short, sharp push and pull movements ensures that the pallet is positioned so as to take up the available space in the loading area. Another rule of using the pallet truck in the loading area of the vehicle is you do not pull the pallet to the edge of the trailer. You push the pallet to the edge. You stay in the safety area of the truck. You do not go near the edges. If you are to use a rear mounted pallet lift device, then you'll require further training to avoid the dangers that are inherent in such an operation. Before we end, let's look at a couple of good common sense rules. 
Only move palletized freight that is secured to the pallet. Loose loads will slip and fall the moment you apply a turn or conduct a pivot steer. Only move single pallets. Do not attempt to move double stacked pallets. Don't rush. Warm up your muscles before you start to work. Warm muscles are better than cold muscles. So in summary then, pallet trucks are essential pieces of work equipment for both warehouse personnel and drivers. Inspect them prior to each use. Move only palletized freight on smooth floor surfaces. Position and push the pallet truck into the pallet holes. Push down the lever to pump up the truck. Use your body weight, straight arms and driving leg muscles to get the pallet truck moving. Use the same body weight and driving leg muscles to bring the pallet truck to a halt. Use short push and turn movements with your body weight and driving legs to position the pallet truck around its pivot steering wheel. That completes this instructional film on the safe use of a pallet truck. If you'd like to know more or want to talk about this film being badged with your own company logo or images, then contact Dan Lee at the email address shown on the screen. Don't forget to check out our other titles on our YouTube channel, especially those relating to manual handling. And if you want to be informed when our next instructional film is ready, click on subscribe. Until next time, goodbye.